All right, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, fellow fishing accomplices, good morning and welcome back to fishing. All right, so it is getting cold out. It's 33 degrees out right now. It's going to warm up to like 40, maybe even 50, but I'm not going to be in the water that long because it is Thanksgiving morning. Uh, and I'm going to try and sneak out before the festivities. I wake up early every single day for work, so it's not that difficult for me. So I want to try and get out while I still can before... Uh, all the activities of the day get underway, let's say. And again, I wouldn't even go today, but these are the best looking conditions we have this week. So I'm gonna go for it. Uh, I got like two hours, maybe three. I'm gonna try shallow, cause that's where the fish have been. If they're even there still, uh, that's what I'm gonna try. If not, uh, I might just really briefly go into some slightly deeper water. If anything, I do hope to go fishing again tomorrow, but I don't know if it's gonna pan out with the weather. Uh, but if anything, this is kind of a scouting session. So I've been filling up the cooler bag every time I go out I'm like this might be the last hog session and that's kind of where we're at right now But you know knock on plastic. This is it. So do stay tuned because you know we're about to do get some fishing accomplished Stay tuned All right, nice little sunrise action to start things off Don't see a ton of bird activity, but that's fine I'm Not really looking to chase after stripers today, but if they show up Especially if the tog bite is slow, uh, that's what we'll give a go for. But uh, let's make our way out to where we've been hammering tog first. Alright, it's definitely a little breezier than uh, forecasted, but if anything, the wind's supposed to lay down today. Uh, whether or not that happens or happens while I'm here is yet to be determined, but we're in shallow enough, so I feel fine. It's not super high seas. Uh, let's see what we can do. See if there's still fish around. We got 52.5 degree water temps, which is pretty close to where I was a couple days ago. Let's see if anyone's home. Try moving around a little. Same general area. Oh, there's an immediate bite. Definitely something down there. Oh yeah, we're getting bit. Start somewhere. 15 foot tog, 52.5 degree waters, Thanksgiving 2022. Back down and see what else we can do. All right, skunks out of the boat, but can we do better? Don't have a lot of time, so we'll do the best we can. And it's surprisingly breezy morning. this wind lays down we can explore a little more that's all right that's all right not that big bigger than the first one now that's a good sign Okay, just got another fish, so it's not a fluke. It's a tog. <laughs> I'll be here all week, folks. Good one. Decent one at least. That's foul hook, that's why. Whatever. It's number three. It's a crowd now. Bring it back down. Got number three. About to get number four. Feels good head shakes. It's close. Just, just smack my fish finder. All right, got a bite here, which is good because this wind is not 
making me want to explore much. Let's get another crab on there and see if we got a big girl down there. Feels all right. Not quite, but good size. Let's get it back down. Nice healthy shorts. Just got two shorts in the last clip, so the fish are definitely here. And if it's like last week, probably push through to get a keeper. So this bite, we build this bite up enough. Another little guy. This guy's been caught before. All right, just got another short, cut up some crabs. Let's see if we can get this bite fired up, and some bigger fish. <laughs> These crabs stink, oh my God. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's a bagal. Good thing we're not fluke fishing or you'd be dead. Fight slowed down, think about making a move. Wind seems to be letting down a little bit too, so that's uh, gonna be helpful to maybe investigate a little bit. Still a little bit of wind now. All right, just made a minor adjustment to my anchor. Trying to get a little deeper, but still hold the same structure because I know there's a lot of fish here. Let's see if this makes a difference. There it is. That didn't take too long. It feels nice. Better. Nice male. It's always a good sign. Too big, but cool looking fish. Nice white chin. Feels decent. Not that big. Ooh. Getting closer. It's like a 14 inch or 13, 14. Nice sturdy hen. That feels good. That feels good. Yeah, not too big, but decent. Close. Very close. I'd say no, though, but. Wow, look at that gold stripe. It's like a 15 incher. That's definitely not a keeper, but. Just look at these colors, though. 
Let's give this spot a few more minutes, otherwise we're going to make a little bit more of a move. Still say the same area, but just a little further away from this. Closer to where we were last time. Alright, well, change of plans. Looks like my anchor's stuck, so... I'm going to just fish uh, let up line, take up line, and really just fish this area. Only got about an hour left before I have to start heading in, so let's see what we can do over here. Keeper. Close. I don't think so though. Nah. Not just for the heck of it. No, we're not doing that again. It's probably like 14 and a half, 15. Yeah, 14 and a half. Nice short. All right, just got a short. Tide's pretty close to peak, so I'm dropping down weight because uh, I don't want a presentation to be too heavy for the fish to want to grab it and pick it up. So all these fish are just pecking at it. Let's see if this helps. Not that time. Not that time. Another nice short. 13 incher. Alright. Another nice short. Getting these fish uh, fired up, so I'm probably getting ready to pack up. But let's see if we can end on a high note. It feels nice. It feels nice. It feels nice. Oh yeah. That's definitely the best of the day. And I wager probably a keeper. Oh yeah, easy keeper. Easy keeper. Let's go. <laughs> but I tell ya, still getting them. Worth the grind. Worth the grind when you find fish like this. Of course, I'm all wrapped up around my GoPro somehow. But whatever. Alright, before we get them stringed up, let's get a look. Probably 17 ish. Yeah, just about 17, so in the cooler you're going. Don't have a ton of time, but it's going to string up. All right, I might lose my anchor today, but at least we're bringing some fish home. So I guess that's a half even trade-off. These anchors are pretty cheap. I got a replacement in my car for just such an occasion. I'll order another one, another chain, but let's see if we can get him a buddy so we get a full meal out of this. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh yeah, that's number two. Number two. Let's go. <laughs> oh man. Phenomenal. What a great tog season we're having. Let's go. Not, probably about right along the same size as that first keeper. This one's actually just a tiny bit short. It's like an eighth of an inch short, so just gotta go back. Beautiful fish though. Whatever. Let's get right back down. Okay. 
All right, last piece of crab and fishing. Unless something phenomenal happens, we gotta go. Yeah. Last piece of crab, we gotta get out of here. I got more crab, but I don't wanna cut it up and we'll save for tomorrow. Decent. I don't think he's a keeper though. Ah. Nice fish though. You'll be a nice one to close out on. I'd, I'd keep fishing, but I gotta get out of here. Let's see if we can salvage that anchor. Alright, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, pretty good outing for the most part. I did end, I did end up having to cut my uh, anchor line, which sucked, but like I said, I got a spare in the car. It'll get me by for at least tomorrow. And I'll order another one to have a backup. But fun time, didn't have a ton of time. And honestly, if I stayed in, I'm sure I could have crushed them. But that's the way it is sometimes. So yeah, try and get out here in the next couple of days. Enjoy the last, you know, push of this inshore tog season before it's gone. And maybe we'll get them in the spring, I don't know. But thank you for watching as always. Catch you the next one. And of course, goodbye from fishing.